Let's go discuss guys. So we'll be talking internal ILIC. Before internal ILIC we should tell about uh, bifurcation of aorta. What's the end result of bifurcation? Which vessel we get after the bifurcation of aorta? Uh, yes. Common iliac right, common iliac left arteries, right? Right here we have aorta, it divides into two parts. What are the name? You told common iliac artery. We have left one and the right one, right? And common iliac artery, it divides at the level of what? It's around seven, eight centimeters in lumbar vertebra number, which? four and five and it divides at the level of this bone which bone is here sacroiliac joint right it divides into two parts uh, the then internal uh, common iliac artery divides into external external iliac artery internal iliac artery do you agree Okay, let's talk about now uh, internal internal iliac artery. Internal iliac artery, internal uh, iliac artery. It has two trunks. What are they? Anterior. Yeah, it divides into two parts: uh, anterior trunk and posterior trunk. Posterior trunk is go. Yeah, it, it has some several branch to the wall of the iliac. Uh, bone, yeah, right, in pelvic uh, walls, and the anterior trunk gives to the organs mostly. Okay, could you tell me what's the first branch? Let's make this line. This is our internal iliac artery. Let it be, yeah. What's the first branch of internal iliac artery? Umbilicalis. Yeah, umbilicalis. Do we have uh, this artery in adult body? Yeah, in adult bodies, obliterated, right? And it become middle umbilical fold, lig lig ligament, right? The first one will be what? Uh, this is arteria umbilicalis. The, this portion is obliterated, but in the beginning we have one branch. What's the name of this branch? Uh, yeah. Vesicalis, which one? Vesicalis. Vesicalis. Superior, yeah, physical superior, and the next branch is good. Arteria vesicalis inferior. Arteria vesicalis inferior supplies the inferior portion of the urinary bladder, and the same time, what we have here below the urinary bladder. No, there is urinary bladder. There is prostate. It has some branches also, and the next branch is. Arteria rectalis media. media, not medial, it's media. And if we draw here, if we draw this, this is the rectum. How many parts in the rectum? Three, Rect three. three parts. The first, superior part, middle part, uh, inferior part, correct. And can you tell me what which artery supplies superior part? Yeah, it's a this is the aorta, and there is inferior mesenteric artery, inferior. Uh, mesenteric artery then it gives superior rectal artery yeah and rectalis media middle portion gets blood from the pool of internal iliac artery there is what there is anastomosis and the next branch is yeah there is arteria ductus deferens yeah arteria to ductus deferens that's fine right which structure gets and uh, what's the next branch? Uh, yeah, good. The next important structure, arteria uterina. Yeah, arteria uterina. It has several branches. What are the branches? Yeah, there are three ramus. Let me draw here. Let me draw here. The is. What's it? We have first one is. Ramus uterina, ramus tubaria, and here we have if, and there is ovaricus, right? Here is the ovary, the first branch to the tube, to the vagina, uh, uterus itself, and some branch to the vagina, and the third branch is to the ovary. Do you agree? And we have blood.
supply to the uh, blood supply to the ovary. There is anastomosis between the branch of the artery uterina and ovarica, from which structure we get ovarian artery. Who knows? If you remember, in our previous session we discussed aorta abdominal, and it has one. It has testicular or ovarian artery. Ovarian artery goes to the ovary, right? And this ramus ovaricus forms anastomosis between these structures. Did you get from another one branch from the aorta, another branch from the internal iliac artery? It's a branch of arteria uterina. Do you agree? And then the another branch is the next. Good. Arteria pudenda, arteria, arteria pudenda, pudenda interna. It passes which structures? Yeah, foramen infraperiforme, then it passes foramen ischiadicum. Which one? Minus. Minus, then it reaches some fossa. What's the name of that fossa? Good. Fossa ischiorectalis. Fossa ischiorectalis. At that fossa, it has some several branches, right? What's the first branch? Yeah, good one. The first one is arteria rectalis inferior here. Yeah, we fully supplied the rectum with blood. Is it clear? Yeah, there is anastomosis between media and inferior. Media comes from iliac artery, rectalis inferior comes from pudenda interna. And there is anastomosis between interna and superior. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, there is inter intrasystemic anastomosis. Intrasystemic, it means the system of internal iliac artery. There is anastomosis between this artery and the ramus of the pudendal interna. Intersystemic between two systems. It, it will be the inferior mesenteric artery and the iliac artery, two different systems, and they form anastomosis. This is called intersystemic anastomosis. Do you agree? Okay, the next branch is that was the uh, rectalis inferior, the another one is? Yeah. yeah, good. The another branch of pudenda interna, perineal. Perineal gives off what kind of branches? To which structures? Yeah, rami. Scrotalis. It goes to the to which structure? Scrotum, posteriorly, or rami? In, yeah, in females it will be rami labialis. Uh, posterior, right? Let's make it labium, major and minor, it will be posterior labial. Is there any other branches of pudenda interna? Mm. Yes, artery Which one? Uretralis. Yeah, urethral artery. It's a branch to the urethra. Okay? Okay, what's the next branch? Yeah, the third branch is artery to bulbi Penis. It's a bulbus of penis, if you remember. Yeah? The next one? The next branch? Yeah, it's really important. We have in males and females different arteries, right? In males it will be arteria profunda, profunda at end, uh, dor a dorsal, what? Penis. And in females will be profunda dorsalis, Clitoris. It's really important difference between males and females, right? And the next artery. Yeah, it's really uh, important. Also, the will be obturator, obturator artery. It has some branches. What are they? Yeah, perito, and it supplies. It has a ramus anterior, ramus. Ramus posterior. Ramus anterior gives blood to adductor muscles. Good, adductor and ramus posterior. Ramus acetabularis. Yeah, ramus acetabularis. It's really important the hip joint blood supply, if you remember. Yeah, in the acetabulum, the hip, bo hip bone. Uh, ac ramus acetabularis and obturator artery forms anastomosis, one, one big artery. It forms corona mortis, if you remember. Yeah, corona mortis. Uh, obturator artery, it has ramus pubicus, ramus pubicus of the obturator artery. And we have external iliac artery, 
and its branch. What's the name of the branch? The inferior epigastric artery forms anastomosis between two each other, between each other, and it will, it's called corona mortis. Corona is for crown, yeah. Mortis is what is mortis? It's about this. Is it clear? If you cut during surgery, if the surgeon cuts by mistake this anastomosis, the patient will lose blood in a very short period of time because you will lose blood from external iliac artery and you will lose blood from internal iliac artery. Is it clear? Okay. And the next branch is internal iliac artery will be posterior trunk arteries posterior that all arteries was anterior trunk this will be the posterior trunk uh, post trunk branches of the internal iliac what are the first one is ilia ilio lumbar it has two parts iliac in iliac fossa right iliac in the iliac fossa and lumbar yeah Lumbar, iliac forms anastomosis with uh, deep, uh, deep, uh, D deep circumflex. If I write here as X, it's circumflex artery from where? It's a range from the. Uh, external yeah, good. Uh, there is anastomosis, and the lumbar branch forms anastomosis. If you remember, in our water we have lumbar branches four lumbar branches these four branch forms anastomosis here do you get yeah that was the first branch and the second branch is yeah arteria sacralis sacralis lateralis it goes it goes laterally to the sacrum and it forms anastomosis with if you remember this is aorta it divides and here sacralis mediana you remember yeah and the third one is arteria glutea superior it passes super gluteal uh, super piriform foramen and it supplies with blood all the muscles in that region right is there any other branches yeah and do you have any questions right here about internal iliac artery yeah, we have inferior gluteal artery. That's correct. Uh, I think we skip that right here. Yeah, inferior gluteal artery. It forms which fossa, which foramen? Infra glute, uh, infra piriform foramen, and supply with blood all the muscles in that region. Okay. Yeah, and we have cremasteric. If you remember, cremasteric branches to the cremaster muscle from the iliac arteries. Okay. Any questions here? Yeah, it, it can some it can have uh, some small anastomosis, but it's not clinically important, significant. An inferior. Yeah. Any questions, guys? Then we can finish for now this one. Okay. Uh, I mean the video. Uh, let's discuss, guys. Is it clear this explanation? Yeah, guys. 